بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس فائیو آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ان دا آن لائن اسٹڈیز آف دا ریجنل پبلک اسکول اینڈ کالج اینڈ آئی ایم یور ٹیچر مریم سعید ڈے آئی ہیو کیم اپ ود اے ویری انفارمیٹو لیسن فار یو ایٹس فرام دا ایکسرسائز آف یور ریسنٹلی اسٹڈیڈ نیو یونٹ روبنسن کرسو سو بائی دا اینڈ آف دس لیکچر یو آل ول بی ایبل شو Identify and write the comparative and superlative degrees of a network. Write the degrees of regular and irregular adverbs and solve the exercise C1 to C4. So our today's topic is related to the adverbs of degree. But before starting our topic, let us recapitulate that what is an adverb. As you already have discussed and studied in class four and five, that adverb is a part of speech that is used to describe or modify a verb, an adjective and other adverb of the sentence. For example, Ali drives his car carefully. Here, drive is an verb and carefully is an adverb which is modifying or describing the verb drive. So here, carefully is an adverb. Now let's come to the degrees of the comparison of the adverb. Just that, uh, an adjective has degrees of comparison, the comparative degree or the superlative degree. Similarly, adverbs also have to. Degrees of comparisons are used when we compare one person or one thing when, with another. When you compare one thing with another, you can compare one thing with another, then you can use degrees for their comparison. Ke liye. Similar to the adjectives, adverbs also have three degrees of comparison. And they are positive degree, comparative degree, and the superlative degree. Now let's see what is the difference between positive, comparative, and superlative degree. Here, as you can see in the table, in positive degree, Ali ran fast. Here, ran is the verb, and fast is an adverb that is modifying or describing the verb ran. Here, we are talking only about the Ali. So that is why we have used the positive degree. Now, let's come to the comparative degree. He ran faster than Ahmed. Here we are talking about the two boys, Ali and Ahmed. We are comparing their running abilities. That Ali ran faster than Ahmed. Ali jo hai, wo Ahmed se tez bhaagta hai. So here you are talking about the two persons. You will use comparative degree. Now come to the superlative degree. Ali ran fastest of all. Yaha pe aap Ali ka comparison kisi ek اور لڑکے کے ساتھ نہیں بلکہ بہت سارے لوگوں کے ساتھ کر رہے ہیں تو ہیئر یو ول یوز سپر ریلیٹو ڈگری دیٹ از فاسٹ ٹیسٹ سو فاسٹ فاسٹر اینڈ فاسٹ ٹیسٹ فاسٹ از دا پازیٹو ڈگری فاسٹر از دا کمپیریٹو اینڈ فاسٹسٹ از دا سپر ریلیٹو ڈگری اف این ایڈ ورب فاسٹ فاسٹر اینڈ فاسٹسٹ دیز آل ار ایڈ وربز Adverbs ending in ly form their comparative degree with one combined with more and their superlative degree by adding most. Here we have a rule that you have told us that those words or adverbs that are ending in ly are made by the comparative degree by adding more. We have made the comparative degree by adding more. We have made the comparative degree by adding more. We have made the comparative degree by adding more. And their superlative degree can be formed by adding most before them. And on the superlative degree, jo hai, wo aap unse pehle most use karke usko banate hain. Sare jo adverbs hain, they can't form their comparative and superlative degree by adding er or est at their end. Kuch adverbs aise jo ly pe end hote hain, unki comparative degree more laga ke banayi jati hai. Or superlative degree jo hai. That is formed by adding most before them. Now let's come to the examples. Like Mr. John speaks effectively in a meeting. 
here effectively is the positive degree that because we are uh, talking about on, only about the Mr. John. So here effectively is the positive degree. Now, when you talk uh, about some other person, you will use the comparative degree. For example, Mr. Sam speaks even more effectively in meetings. थोड़ा सा उसको ज्यादा करने के लिए हम कंपैरेटिव यूज करेंगे अब इफेक्टिवली जो है दिस एडवर्ब इज एंडिंग इन एल वाई टू फॉर्म एट्स कंपैरेटिव डिग्री वी विल यूज मोर बिफोर एट ठीक है अब इफेक्टिवली जो है वो एल वाई पे एंड हो रहा है तो इसके कंपैरेटिव डिग्री बनाने के लिए हम क्या करेंगे इफेक्टिवली से पहले मोर यूज करेंगे ठीक है नाउ लेट्स कम टू द लास्ट एग्जांपल अनदर एग्जांपल मिस्टर अहमद स्पीक्स मोस्ट इफेक्टिवली इन मेटिंग्स ठीक है अब इस इफेक्टिवली इज एंडिंग इन एल वाई तो वी कैन फॉर्म एट सुपरलेटिव डिग्री बाय एडिंग मोस्ट बिफोर एट अगर अब इफेक्टिवली से पहले आप मोस्ट लगा देंगे तो इट विल बिकम द सुपरलेटिव डिग्री नाउ लेट्स कम टू द एक्सरसाइज सी वन ऑफ योर यूनिट व्हिच इज वेरी मच रिलेटेड टू दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड हियर वी हैव अ टेबल uh you have been given with the positive degrees and you have to write the uh, comparative and superlative degrees all these words are ending in ly sare words jo hain wo ly pe end ho rahe hain so you can easily form their comparative and superlative degrees by adding more and most before them any words se ke uh, se pehle agar aap more use karte hain to uh, it will be comparative degrees will be formed aur agar aap unse pehle most use karenge the superlative degrees will be formulated um, now let's come to these words quickly uh, its comparative degree is more quickly and then most quickly is the superlative degree likewise fortunately is the positive degree more fortunately is the comparative degree and most fortunately is the superlative degree likewise the other words hastily more hastily most hastily pleasantly more pleasantly most pleasantly some adverbs ending in ly do not use more and most for their comparative and superlative degrees now here uh, we have an other rule sare jo adverbs hain that are ending with ly they do not use more and most for uh, form formulating their comparative and superlative degrees we also have some other rules their comparative and superlative degrees are formed by adding er and est at the end theek hai kuch uh, adverbs ending with ly aise hain jinko aap more ya most se unki comparative or superlative degrees nahi bana sakte balki unki comparative or superlative degrees banane ke liye aapko unke end pe er ya est add karna padta hai now let's come to exercise c2 that is uh, related to this rule here you are given with a positive degrees some of the words that are positive in degree and you have to formulate their comparative and superlative degrees but not by adding more and most but by adding er and est at their end for example early it is ending in ly but we cannot formulate its comparative and superlative degree by writing most early and more early no but by adding er and est at their ends by adding er we will form its comparative degree that is earlier and by adding est we will form its superlative degree that is earliest now let's come to the other words high higher and highest hard harder hardest late later and latest but there are some adverbs that are irregular in manner it means that their superlative and comparative degrees are totally out of the rules they cannot be formulated by adding er or est at their ends or by adding more and most before them their degrees of comparison are formed in an irregular manner they have some other words they do not follow the pattern or 
of more, most, er, and est. Uh, let's see this table. For example, the first word, badly. It's ending in ly, but its comparative degree and superlative degree is not formed by adding er or est or by writing more or most before them. At its comparative degree is worse and superlative is worst. That is why they are called irregular adverbs. The next word is late. Its comparative degree is later and superlative degree is last. They are totally different words. Likewise, little is the positive degree of an adverb. Its comparative degree is less and superlative degree is least. Next word is much, that is the positive adverb. Its comparative degree is more and superlative degree is most. I hope you have understood all this. Now it's time for the home assignment. You have to complete these sentences using adverbs. The first sentence is you have to use the simple adverbs. He drove fastly, hastily. You can use other adverbs of your own choice also. She made a cake. You can write anything just like, you can also add, add a phrase like she made a cake early in the morning. Third sentence is, he speaks English. You can add uh, politely, fluently, or any other adverb of your choice. They dash come to see us at the weekend, rarely, specially. And the last sentence is, we dash see them during the week, rarely, oftenly, or any other adverb of your choice. So students, I hope you have understood this, the concepts of the adverbs of degree very well. And that is all from my side. Thank you very much.